I realized that they were operating in a small room and a lot of congestion in there. So my first uh, point of uh, need was for us to expand the facility. The idea you brought by expanding it is a great relief to us because we don't have the facilities. Our church began exploring mission opportunities in 2014. Because some members of our church are from Ghana in West Africa, it was a natural place to start. Our first team, including Ghana native Frederica Smith, came alongside several orphanages and medical outreaches that we had been funding. The team came home excited about who they had met and what they had experienced. The next year, we sent a couple to Ghana to travel with our PCUSA missionary for a couple of weeks and explore partnering with a local Presbyterian church. They traveled to the city of Ho in the eastern Volta region to spend many days with leaders from the Evangelical Presbyterian Church of Ghana, or EP Church, as it is commonly known. These church leaders shared the many ministries they have been called to, from teaching local fishermen to farm fish, to providing a home for street children, to a medical clinic on the banks of Lake Volta. At the conclusion of our time, we sensed God forming a true friendship between us, so we asked if they needed partners to help them serve their community. Without hesitation, they told us the clinic needed a separate maternity ward. Sure. Gemini is a market town on the banks of Lake Volta. In 1995, with the help of a woman's association from Nebraska, the EP Church built a medical clinic. But recognizing that many of the women who worked in the market could not leave their stalls for very long, they also placed a clinic outpost in the market itself. Currently, women come from around the lake to get pre- and postnatal care for themselves and their children, and the clinic sees several baby deliveries each day. The vision is to build a 20-bed maternity ward, equip it, and train staff to ensure sustainability. When we first visited the clinic in 2015, the director, aptly named Comfort, had just come out of retirement to run the facility with a staff of four nurses and midwives. The time you came, we were just four or five people. But the, the government sent more trainees. Presently, we are 16. The partnership is a, a community-based partnership. The land there was donated by a family to us. The chiefs are involved, the church is involved, and the people outside the church are involved. They are all, the, all of them are excited about the cleaning because it's not helping only the members of the church, but also the community at large and people from different faiths and people who come from different places. So it's a community like, to, it's the partnership is like together we build. The catchment area for that particular facility is huge. Apart from Germany town proper, then beyond the, the lake, there are a lot of communities dotted all over the place. And currently, per our statistics, by the close of the year, we would have been seeing a little over 18,000 clients in that small facility. Yes. The building, equipment, and training for this new maternity ward has a budget of $200,000. The fundraising, disbursement, and oversight are being conducted by the Presbyterian Church USA. It's a big project, bigger than our church alone. We have seeded the project with $20,000 in individual pledges from members in our own church and are now stepping out in faith to ask other churches and individuals to join us. Additionally, we are applying for grants to help complete the funding. Together with our brothers and sisters in Ghana, we can improve the lives of women and babies for years to come. We are stronger when we come together. We envision uniting a coalition of churches and individuals, 
that in partnership we will grow in fellowship with one another and together we can impact the lives of so many. It's a privilege to be the first person to handle the baby right from the mother.